All right, let's make a statement. It's New Denton. All right, it's New Denton. Let's go put this thing down right here. Let's go break them down. Yeah. New Denton on no three. One, two, three. New Denton. New Denton, baby. New Denton. New Denton, baby. This is New Denton. New Denton. Sweet home, New Denton. Woo. New Denton means like, out with the old and with the new. To me, New Denton means a brand new era. Everything's brand new. Let me first talk about what New Denton doesn't mean. Um, it, it's not in any way meant uh, to disparage or diminish our traditions. We've had a lot of athletes work their guts out to represent North Texas and have done an unbelievable job doing that. We respect the past and the tradition that we've had, but we're also, um, you know, we want to put our stamp uh, on this program. Well, I think it's the new culture within our team. I mean, it's not has nothing to do with Denton. Denton's an unbelievable place, and uh, we're talking about, you know, who we are, our core values, our culture, and um, how, you know how we want to uh, represent Denton uh, with our football team. Because I was part of the old Denton, and I see how stuff is changing, how everything is totally different. You know what I mean? So. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be with New Den. This is a whole new rebuild of a, a brand new program. Like, we're starting everything over and we're gonna do it the way that we wanna do it. We're not going back to old tactics. And that's going out and being highly competitive, making sure that uh, our fans know that we're gonna go out there and compete every single game at a high level. It happened before I even got here. So I got here last July and the, the new Denton uh, really took off in early spring of last year. It's, uh, I, we have to give credit to Bryce English. Um, is the everyone believes he's the first one that actually tweeted at hashtag New Denton? I think I made a tweet. It was probably the first tweet I made, and I put a hashtag out of my mind. It became New Denton. I just ran with it. I got a lot of students. I got them to tweet it out for me, just showing support. I don't think he knew it was gonna take off like that. I think he was just trying to tweet out like, "Hey man, trying to just get our name out," because you know Bryce is a well-known guy around the DFW, so. And just by tweeting the fans and all the teammates, and this became a logo, this became a name, this became a brand for our team. I feel like that was also a great recruiting tool. You know, get guys from DFW that know Bryce, know how big time player he is, and he's in New Denton. So from a football standpoint, you know, that's one of our biggest avenues out there to the kids. We, you know, we don't do a ton of mailers because Kids don't look at those anymore. Kids look at things that are on their phone. So everything has to be digital for them. It has got to be eye catching. Um, so from a recruiting standpoint, it's huge. And then also just from a general fan experience, uh, we've done a really, really good job, I think, on capturing moments and captivating their eyes with specific graphics. And then you'll handle kickoff and game day graphic. Yeah, which you know, Brett and I have talked enough to where we know the look and the feel of the graphics that we want. We want to have a North Texas look. We want if if you take off the logos or you know you take off the the helmet logo on the um, on the side of a, a helmet, you know if you take all those things off, you can still tell that that's a North Texas you know graphic. Um, and and we try to use similar themes. So you know we're trying to be different than everybody else. We're trying to have our own look, and I think we've done a pretty good job of that so far. Our captain's graphic. Mm -hmm. We'll probably push that to Thursday. So that's what I got. Now, okay. you know how normally we've done like white or gray in the background? Yeah. I did it to green this time. Yeah. Just so cool. the guys pop a little bit. Yeah, it looks it looks perfectly fine. I so think. I think Brett does a heck of a job. Um, him with a, a couple of my guys. I try to look outside of uh, college sports for, for a lot of ideas. I try to look at professional artists, um, different photographers, different designers that work with, and I'll try to combine stuff that I like into graphics so that I know um, that I'm always trying to push myself to make something that other people haven't yet. We're the ones that kind of create that look and feel. That's just simple as you using you know uniform logos or having a more updated font. At Law Tech, we'll go for one that we've never done. We'll go chrome helmet and then all white down below. Yeah. Everything that, that a recruit sees or that a fan sees, you know, we want that new feeling to it. I'm gonna do a little uh, call sign. Uniforms are, they're important for a variety of reasons. People who don't know North Texas, don't know UNT, just happen to flip through the channels, happen to see this highlight, uh, see that uniform, and it's an instant branding mechanism uh, to an audience that you're definitely targeting. It also is important to your fan base. 
but maybe most importantly, uh, at least to me, it's important to the players. This was the only jersey that you could sublimate uh, our eagle wings into the sleeve. So uh, that was a nice touch, um, you know, something that everybody liked in the building, and, uh, and, and it's been a big hit for our players. Just like when you get a new outfit, uh, and you're at home and you put it on, you just feel better about yourself. That not only could they feel good playing it, but also it was gonna give us advantage on the field. So one of the great things about this is they're called our Vapor Pro Untouchable Jersey. Uh, it's a very lightweight jersey. Uh, it has a, sh a small hole mesh, so that's supposed to keep your core temperature a little bit cooler. The biggest wow factor of all this was that the four teams playing in the NCAA playoff this past year, they all wore this jersey. So obviously they are trying to get as much as a competitive edge as anybody to win that national championship. So I wanted to make sure that we got every competitive edge we could uh, to help us win on the field. I'm gonna say this once and I'm gonna say it again. This is UNT. This is New Den. Y'all mean green. UNT is more than a place. We are a community of dreamers and doers. Here, knowledge grows. Ideas become discoveries and opportunities are boundless. We ask questions and seek answers. We push boundaries and expand minds. We defy expectations and pursue excellence. A tier one research university, UNT innovates for a brighter tomorrow. We are the path to success. We are UNT. Four quarters. All right, we're going to war. Get ready for war. All right, knocking heads for four damn quarters. Together, all three phases. Who's the one? <clears throat> we talked about it. Someone's going to step up tonight and be the one. <clears throat> Who is it? Don't let your opportunity pass. Make sure this is our best game yet. Four quarters. Let's go out and get this, man. Let's go dominate. Let's go. Eighth meeting all time between the Mean Green and Louisiana Tech. North Texas coming in. Let's go! Turn it up! Let's go! Gotta have all that! Gotta have all that! Let's beat the rest of the defensive starters. On the snap, Jamar Smith under pressure and sack back inside the 10. A loss of 16 yards. So third and 21. And uh, Smith with the sack, with the snap, will have to scramble with nobody open and pull down at the 12-yard line. Hey, good job on the movement there. Get that one. Hey, good. Make sure, just always, understand the steps. You with me? Because right now, if they throw that bubble, we can rally down and go tackle that. You with me? The biggest concern is the safety on the corner. Make sense? Three bubbles, two runs a corner. He's inside leverage. Help me. All right? Put your hands on the door. Hey, listen to me. Look at the door as you take the steps. Hey, when you do the punch, you want us to punch him. I'm up top. Listen, if he's a guard right there, so you can try to show him back at me. I'm moving in this direction. I want him to hit his head. I'm over top. No, yeah, go over top. No, go this way. I'm over top. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Second down, rolling left, and find, finds Wilson out of the backfield. 50 out of bounds near the Bulldog. 40, they'll say at the 41. Snap back, and to give to Wilson. Turns the left corner to the five, cut back to the end zone, and in. Touchdown. And the main green draw, first blood in Ruston. Six to nothing. All day, baby! On that one, especially, but in rip too, they're doing that. That tackle has to eyewall that guy. It's got to be an insert. You know what I'm saying? We'll set up a third down and two. Quick snap and the handoff for Scott. Big room. Breaks a tackle. Crawls across midfield. Finally loses his balance at the 41. 
So on to try a 48 yarder. This one has plenty of leg and is good. Take the ball and get up there and challenge them. All right? Don't play off. You know they're going to throw the ball. Second, seven, one. All week we talked about it. Get your ass up there. Get into the boundaries. Come on. That's all part of playing smart. We gave that up. The drive has been dead. Right? Come on, man. Play smart. Hey, listen to me now. They came out three times on that drive. All right? Basically went X off. You only have a two-man surface backside. Do you understand that? You only got a two-man surface. We got to check drop. All they're doing is running the split zone backside. Jack's there. Safety's there. Ends there. Corner, you're the cleanup hitter. But the big thing we got to do is get him to drop. This here is guy. He's dead. He's eligible. He's eligible. Do you understand? Nick Smith is the back on third down at seven. In green three out of five so far on third down. Here comes the blitz. Fine, will step around it, run, keep it. First down inside the 30, slides to the 25. On first down for the Bulldog, 27-yard line. Methodical march so far. Fine wants to throw and floats one into the end zone, and it is intercepted. They don't come down and play man all day. What can you guys win on? What can you win on? Come in the class, but they win on that. Closer to Jordan, uh, Jordan Hill. You know what I'm saying? Out that way instead of going up there. Bounce over with one more gap. On third and ten from the 44. And Smith will be surrounded. Step up and keep. And inside the 35, he will have a first down. Veal in motion, stopping slot left, comes back the other way. Third and goal from the seven and rolling to his left, looking to the end zone. Smith now will decide to keep and reaches for the pylon and in, touchdown. So fall back, when you keep this, fall back, yes. fall back to the C gap? Yeah, fall back to the C gap. Now if six is the, the up back, it's stretch either way. So when six is, six is behind, play it slow, fall back. When six is either up back, it's stretch either direction. So that, that's when you can run flat and go make a play. So just keep that in mind whenever we're on float. But you end this series. Evan Johnson is the running back. No Jeffrey Wilson on this series. And as a quarterback draw, and Mason will step into the middle and keep and slide down to the 30. First down, that stops the clock at seven seconds to move the chains. Kelstra Mueller to snap when Shanboard a hold. And Moore lays into it. Plenty of leg and good. As time runs out on the first half. So there's a little momentum. Shot in the arm heading into the halftime locker room. They've made it a seven-point game. I absolutely love um, doing community service. People think it's it's a it's a chore, uh, but when you talk to most everyone that that would do a community service project, uh, they would say that they got out of it so much more than they were giving. Going and packing a few food bags and and helping organize the food bank, you're helping somebody that could survive because of what they were providing, uh, which was a fantastic opportunity. I am and always will be all day CUSA. In the classroom, we are committed. In the community, we are uplifting. In athletics, we are strong. And on our campuses, we are accepting. Dynamic, diverse, determined, 
This is who we want to be, on and off the field. In our everyday lives, we are all day CUSA. And together, we are Conference USA. Anybody? Start fast, third quarter. Everybody understand that. Sure. Make sure we come out and we dominate the second half. We're right in there. We talk, we don't, we know there's going to be a dog fight. It's time. November. It's time. Ready to go? Yes, sir. Sure. Our score, Louisiana Tech 17, North Texas 10. Third and three from the 46. Jeffrey Wilson checks in for Nick Smith in the backfield. And takes the handoff up the middle. Now veers to his right. There's room. 40, 35, 30, and tripped up at the 27-yard line. So third and five. And Fine will float one into the end zone. Over the shoulder. Caught by Bussy. Touchdown. Tied at 17. That's right, eh? That's right, baby. That's weak tank. Weak tank. Let's go. Run right through the ass, okay? They are on third down, three of nine. Smith now has it. Here comes a blitz. He throws near sideline. Caught on it. First down. Breaks a tackle. Pushed out of bounds at the 20 yard line by Muhammad. Hold is down. Kick on the way and good. In, in 10 personnel and when end over. Yeah. Now, remember, when you are on the field, who are you? So, on end over, we check what? So then you're on the line of scrimmage in the boundary because we're playing drop. Make sense? You got to find another okay. receiver, bro. Right. Yeah, but now, hey, we go double ending. We go read. I'm supposed to go Three man side. Clue him. I, I caught a clue about that. I ain't seen him, so I clue BT. Yeah. So, from just shy of the 33, fine drops back. And his throw is caught inside the 45 of La Tech by Lawrence. First down. Pick him up, sideline. Let's go, O. Let's go, O. Let's go, O. Hey, let me get some juice, Jalen. Let's go, O. Let's go, O. Second down and two from the 14. Wilson in at running back. And a handoff to Jeffrey. Oh. Spins out of a tackle. Up the field of the 10 to the 5. In touchdown. Now second down and 10. Wide right, short side of the field. And a delay handoff. Flushy wraps up Kraft for loss. Back at the 36 yard line. Stop him, D. Third and 12, empty backfield, five wide for Jamar Smith, has the snap, and is going to have to roll, throws into the end zone, and incomplete intended for what? Snap will come with 36 seconds remaining, fine, takes the snap, takes a knee. That's game! That's what I'm talking about! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Bowl game, baby, coming. I said it last week. We bowling. Comeback season. We going bowling, baby. Hey, we going bowling, baby. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Check me out. Check the, hey, check the, 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 check all right, and the way we fight together. Yeah. It may not be pretty all the time, but we're gonna find a way to win. Yeah. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> we still haven't even come close to hitting our ceiling. And y'all know it. Yes, sir. And y'all know it. Yeah. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go back, we're gonna have another great week of preparation. We're gonna fix these deficiencies. All right, we're gonna do the same thing next week. Yes, sir. All right, yes, sir. we're gonna do the same thing. Now listen, look what happened today. You won the third quarter. Seven to three, is that important? Yes, yes sir. Damn yes, right it is. It's important. We talked about being a second half team as well. All right, start fast, finish strong. We got to continue to do those things. And all I got to say after that, men, let's go bowling now.
fully committed to the growth of the individual in a team environment. We love community service, just helping out the community. I was fortunate enough to get athletic and academic aid, so um, it just opened up so many doors for me and I'm very grateful for it. My name is Victoria Junius. Thanks to North Texas and Conference USA, I am and will always be all day CUSA. You know, Louisiana Tech over the course of, of uh, their time in Conference USA has been a program that's been the model of consistency. Two years ago, we won one game. Uh, and so to win uh, a game like that at Louisiana Tech, and put yourself in position uh, to, to be in the driver's seat and control your own destiny to make the conference championship game. Uh, and for seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, possibly 11 wins to still be on the table. I mean, that's incredible. It gives us, uh, you know, an opportunity uh, to accomplish one of our missions, which is win our bowl game. Didn't achieve this past year, and so it was big to get that opportunity again. You know, last year we were able to, to participate in a bowl in part due to our APR with five wins, and so to get six wins is a clear step forward. Even with last year winning the five games, you know, it still left a bad taste in my mouth because I feel like I feel like we didn't earn it, which we really did, you know, with our grades, but I wanted to actually run it with going out on a Saturday and, and winning six games, you know what I mean? Uh, Cause that's, that's what it takes to get in. So to have that feeling now, well, we, we got three games ahead and we already did hit six. It's like, wow, like, like look how far we come. As a player right now, I, I, all I can think about is just winning the next game, then going back to next, next week and working. They understand, first of all, that you have to continue to work and prepare. And I don't know that last year they understood that towards the end of the season that nothing you've done in the previous weeks matters. Nothing that you've done in the previous game makes a difference at all. It's not going to have any effect on the next game. The biggest thing would just have to be like the level of commitment from everybody. You know, um, the year that we went 1-11, that obviously people weren't committed. People were more worried about doing other things, whether it was going out and having fun, stuff like that. Now you can just see the, the level of commitment from everyone. And I think that's where maybe we've grown a little bit, that we understand that week to week is a different game, it's a different game plan, and you have to prepare that week. There's sometimes you lose a the game, they're gonna hate you. You come back and win a game, and the people that hated you now love you. You have to ignore all that and just listen to what we say as coaches and go out and continue to just prepare day after day, play after play. Don't drink the Kool-Aid, which is don't buy into what the media is saying, what the fans are saying, what your parents are saying, because you know all, all that is going to boost your head up. And frankly, we're not that good to just be boosted up and come in thinking we're going to win each and every game. You can't cheat this game. You, know, you go out and as soon as you you get too high, Someone's going to come up and beat you. You know, you can't ever get too low as well. So it's a fine line on both sides, uh, winning and losing. It's not always perfect, uh, you know, and, and you're going to have to battle through adversity every single week. And I think what Coach Ruff said stuck with us to be like, be consistently good and occasionally great, which is do everything you have to do good, and the great plays will come to you when it comes. Also, I'd say that. Just this year, this is like the closest team that I've been on. Like, it, it feels like everyone's like good friends with everybody else on the team. I feel like that makes a big difference. Having been in some of these uh, battles with these men, I understand, you know, we all kind of understand each other better. Our relationships are better. So then that we, we kind of know how each other is, is going to react, which is important through, through any battle. Just keep playing, keep playing at a high level, keep playing hard keep competing for the Warriors sitting here in your left and your right. Part of believing you can win is never giving up, never giving in to the situation, never giving in to the moment. Every game we've won was, was a dogfight, so you know, we just, we just got to uh, stay humble and just keep going hard each and every day. We're trying to build a consistent program here, but obviously in order to do that, you still need great talent because all the X's and O's and the schemes, are all, that's one thing, but if you don't have people to execute those things, you're still not gonna be successful. So I think it's just, everybody wants to go to a winner. You know, all these kids around here, they wanna go and they wanna wear the, the school colors in their high school of a team that they're proud of that's winning. So the more you win, you know, the more good things happen.
make no mistake when it comes to, to recruiting, um, everybody's selling about the same thing. <laughs> and, so, uh, and so that evidence uh, of that success is, is important uh, to sell. Now you're selling come to North Texas and pursue championships. And you're not just selling hope, you're selling fact. The more you win, uh, the easier it does make your, your recruiting because now you can sell winning. You know, being able to celebrate these kind of uh, milestones are critical uh, because it, it just continues to let everybody know, no, this is not an anomaly. North Texas can, can be in this position year after year if we all do our part. November is the time that builds uh, championship teams and now, now it's time for us to, to peak and, and play on all three sides for four quarters. It feels good to know that our hard work is paying off, but you know, we're not done yet. We still have a lot of a lot of goals left that we have to accomplish.